Hello and welcome. You're tuned into CNN News 80 and you're watching the news with me, Poonam Burde. Let's get you started on this edition with breaking news coming in from the national capital where Rajendra Pal Gautam, a minister of the Ahmadmi Party, has resigned. Remember, he was caught in a conversion controversy on Friday. Two days after that video went viral, Rajendra Pal Gautam has resigned as the minister from Kejriwal's cabinet. He's reacted after resigning, going on to give a clean chit to the party, he says he has absolutely no pressure from the Amadmi party. This was a decision he had taken himself to spare any embarrassment to Arvind Kejriwal. Rajendra Pal Gautam, remember, was seen in that video that you see on your screens, uh, which came to the fore on Friday, where a conversion rally was being held to convert people to Buddhism. Rajendra Pal Gautam, the minister, in Delhi was present at that particular rally, taking that pledge as you see on your screens. Two days later, two days after, that video was tweeted out by the BJP and it went viral. Now the minister has stepped down and he's taken to Twitter to confirm that. Akash, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. Akash, a two-page letter was tweeted out by the minister there where he goes on to talk of how he does not want to pile on any embarrassment to the Amadmi party or to Arvind Kejriwal. Exactly, Poonam, and you know, there was a buzz that Avin Kejewal is not actually very happy with the uh, kind of development, and that's the reason why we have seen the kind of development now that Rajan Tapal Gautam has actually resigned uh, from his ministerial post. And also, you know, he is uh, not uh, like he, he doesn't hold only one post, he has several portfolios with him as of now, but he has resigned from his post, and this is coming after a lot of controversy over this that particular event that happened in the national capital where in fact Rajendrapal Gautam was seen denouncing the Hindu religion and Hindu deities and uh, that was the reason why in fact BJP was claiming that Ahmadmi party is a anti-Hindu party, Hindu Virodhi party, this is what they were calling and now this is the big development that we are getting that Rajendrapal Gautam has actually resigned from his post and also you know this is coming in the backdrop when Arvind Kejriwal and all the senior leaders of Aam Aadmi Party are, uh, you know, uh, campaigning in Gujarat for the Gujarat elections. And, you know, it was, even experts were saying that this is going to somewhere, uh, um, you know, uh, bring some sort of a loss to Aam Aadmi Party because this has uh, not gone well with uh, many people. And now we are getting this development that Rajan Pal Gautam has actually resigned from his post. Right now, in his two-page letter, uh, Akashi also goes on to talk of how he will continue following Baba Sahib Ambedkar's ideals. He speaks of uh, what has been done uh, for the Dalit community as well. Now, he says time and again that he is not under any pressure, that the party did not ask him to resign. He is doing so out of his own volition. But can that argument be actually be bought? Now, there are two aspects, uh, Poonam. You see, first of all, uh, that he is saying that he is not under pressure because he is also saying that Arvind Kejriwal is in Gujarat as of now and no one asked him to resign. And also, there is another aspect that, you know, Aam Aadmi Party or, uh, you know, any anyone from Aam Aadmi Party has not come out in public. And in fact, his resignation, his resignation has not been accepted. So... Till now, we haven't got any sort of confirmation as if uh, he is going away from this particular post or not. But definitely, he is saying that he is not under pressure. In fact, he is maintaining this uh, uh, very point that, you know, Aam Aadmi Party and specifically Arvind Kejriwal has done a lot for him personally. And also, uh, while he was uh, the minister, you know, no one actually uh, bothered. And that's the reason why right. we are getting this uh, particular development. Right, but do now, stay on with me, Akash, because uh, political reactions are already coming in thick and fast. The BJP not ready to buy the argument that he did not resign under pressure. BJP going on to say that the resignation has only come to the fore ahead of assembly elections in Gujarat, where Chief Minister of Delhi and the convener of the Amanmi Party is currently campaigning. जिस प्रकार से केजरीवाल को वडोदरा से गुजरात से भागना पड़ा जनता का जो गुस्सा कल केजरीवाल ने देखा है उसके कारण दिल्ली में वापस आते ही राजेंद्र पाल गौतम का इस्तीफा लेना पड़ा ये गुजरात की जनता की जीत है ये भारत के हिंदुओं की जीत है राम द्रोही हिंदू द्रोही राजेंद्र पाल गौतम को इस्तीफा देना ही पड़ा है अरविंद केजरीवाल को यह समझ में आ गया है कि हिंदू देवी देवताओं को गाली देकर हिंदुओं के धर्म परिवर्तन का टारगेट बनाकर आप इस देश में भारत में राजनीति नहीं कर सकते हैं ऐसी राजनीति इस देश के लोग चलने नहीं देंगे
Akash continues to be with me and Akash Kapil Mishra is not the only BJP leader. Shahzad Poonawala, Amit Malviya too coming out and taking to Twitter. Going on to say that this is nothing but damage control by the Amadmi party. Rajendra Pal Gautam in fact was directed by Arvind Kejriwal to resign after the embarrassment he faced in Gujarat. Exactly and I, uh, I have learned this particular fact that several posters were, were put out in Gujarat and that's the reason why these BJP leaders are now saying that this has happened just because Arvind Kejriwal and Amadmi party has saw, uh, faced uh, some sort of embarrassment yesterday in Vadodara and also because of the posters and in fact you know talking about Amit, Amit Malviya so he gone on to say that uh, Rajendra Pal Gautam is not the only one because uh, there are several uh, other others in Amadmi party who in fact you know believe in the uh, same kind of thoughts and uh, all other things and that's the reason why BJP not only uh, not only Amit Malviya or Kapil Mishra but in fact all other leaders are saying that this is a damage control and uh, Arvind Kejriwal was facing a sort of embarrassment just because uh, you know Gujarat polls are ahead and they just don't want to give any sort of wrong message to the community and also they are calling it a victory uh, of all those who uh, who were there in Gujarat and who have put out the, those posters in Vadodara. Right, we saw the kind of reactions that came to the fore to those posters from Arvind Kejriwal where he actually lashed out at the BJP. But as far as Rajendra Pal Gautam is concerned, he has now resigned. Let's listen in to what he had to say after he tweeted out that two-page resignation letter. I never do any faith to anyone. 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 No, no, there is no doubt about me. मैं एक वकील हूं पैसे से मुख्यमंत्री जी अभी रैली में हैं गुजरात में मैंने अपना उनको भेज दिया है अपना ये दो दो पेज के पत्र में मैंने सब कुछ लिख के उनको भेज दिया है नहीं नहीं देखिए मैं तो एक कट्टर देशभक्त व्यक्ति हूं और डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर और तथागत बुद्ध की शिक्षाओं को मानने वाला हूँ उसमें मेरी आस्था है आकाश कंटिन्यूज टू बी विथ मी एंड आकाश वी जस्ट हर्ट द मिनिस्टर देर ही सेज आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू hurt anybody's sentiments or anybody's religion or faith that was not uh, my intention neither is the fact that there is any sort of pressure on me as far as the aam aadmi party is concerned over the last 48 hours since the time this video came out what has been the reaction publicly of aam aadmi party leaders so exactly you know punam i was mentioning uh, this a bit earlier that uh, it, there was a buzz that arvind kejriwal was not very happy with the kind of developments in fact aam aadmi party while talking about the public statement so they were very much saying that uh, rajendra pal gautam was uh, there in that particular event, uh, event uh, in his personal capacity and not as a representative of aam aadmi party or aam aadmi party government also on the other hand we saw that how rajendra pal gautam came out in public and said that uh, talking about these vows so uh, he is a follower a follower of ambedkar and he was uh, a part of that a particular event in his personal capacity but on the other hand we saw that how uh, you know leaders from bjp bharatiya janata party were constantly saying that this is somewhere uh, this is a, a tactic where they are actually hurting the sentiments of hindus and in fact we saw that how uh, you know uh, uh, bjp uh, president of delhi adesh gupta even you know filed a complaint against rajendra pal gautam and uh, uh, the organizers of that particular event but this is something we call the biggest development that is coming after two days of this particular event where uh, the uh, minister himself has resigned from this post and now in fact you know there is a buzz that now who will be the next contender yes we don't know as to if his resignation has been accepted or not and in fact you know minister himself is saying that abin kejriwal is not in delhi as of now he is in gujarat right.